that meeting. Many people think uh, a great way to predict what will happen is to look at the Fed funds futures. Now, two weeks ago, analysts were almost certain the rate was getting cut, but the dollar strong finish last week caused some analysts to change their thinking, and now nearly 20% are reading the signs and saying the rate stays the same. Here to explain why and give us the market's uh, prediction is Dow Jones Newswire's reporter, Deborah um, Lumberg. Not Bloomberg, yes, Lumber. <laughs> Deborah, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you know, the federal funds future sometimes seems like a, a very esoteric thing to understand. Can you just kind of break it down for us? Sure. Basically, Fed funds futures are monthly contracts that are bought and sold on the Chicago exchange by investors who are either speculating on or protecting themselves against changes in interest rates. Okay, so what, what we said in that intro was that there was some, kind of a switch. Uh, between what investors were betting on, right, in that contract and what they're now uh, thinking. Can you talk exactly. a little bit about that change? Yeah, basically, for Wednesday's meeting, most investors are expecting now a quarter percentage point cut by the Fed, um, and some are predicting no move at all. And that really stands in sharp contrast to what we saw just a few weeks ago, earlier this month, which were expectations for a half percentage point cut. So it seems like a pretty quick switch. Why is the, the federal funds uh, futures a, a good indicator to watch? Well, basically, by looking at the prices of these contracts, you can see where investors expect rates to be at the end of a given month, and hence what the Fed is likely to do. And how accurate is that really, though? Uh, it tends to be pretty accurate. It's pretty rare for the market not to anticipate a Fed move. Really? Mm -hmm. And so right now, when you saw that kind of that movement, uh, is it true that it kind of tied to what we saw with the dollar and that was mm -hmm. enough to switch people over, 20% of people? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a couple of things. Basically, with the rates already pretty low and food and energy prices rising, people are starting to get afraid about inflation. And also, there's kind of a growing view that besides other efforts to to help the string markets are really starting to help. And how quickly can we see a change in the Fed, uh, the federal funds futures? Like how quick, if, if something happens today, let's say, mm -hmm. that, that, that the market mover, would that be reflected? It could be. It really depends on what kind of data you see and what happens in other markets. The market moves, you know, depending on those things. And now, is, is there a way for people to make, uh, to make money? Oh, definitely. People are definitely making money. But it's really not your small investors, you know, your big banks, hedge funds, mortgage servicers, but the market really is crucial for your small investor because it's really the best gauge of where smart money thinks the Fed is headed. Oh, that's a great point. Deborah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Great to have you. And uh, stay with us when we uh, last left off.